Enjoyed watching uh, watching Merlin struggle getting these solar panels out of his minivan. Okay, so all right, so this is gonna be the first video in my uh, my uh, solar powered garage uh, vlog. Okay, that's what it's gonna be called. Okay, um, and I'm gonna tell you, uh, I'm gonna give you basically the introduction on what's going on this year. Okay, so 2021 is gonna be the year that I, I power my garage with power from the sun or renewable energy anyways okay so many 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 moons ago i uh hades omega was a college student and a lot of the uh what is it the uh some of the projects that i worked on deal with renewable energy i did a lot of research into renewable energy and i did a lot of research into solar power okay and uh, so i just got these two panels okay and uh and so this is going to be, this is like the starting point for, uh, this is part of the ingredients for, for my, uh, what I'm trying to build is an off-grid solar power system, okay, is what it is. Okay, and um, so, but basically I'm trying to power my garage with, uh, with solar panels, okay, um, without, without uh, doing a, a grid, it's not going to be, it's, it's going to be an off-grid. Um, that's the kind of solar power system I'm going to be um, constructing. It's it's not doesn't have anything to do with the grid power, um, and the reason that I want to do this is so I can charge my EVs, uh, more specifically my Soron Light B. Okay, I have two electric motorcycles now. I have a the Soron Light B, and I have uh, the Victory Impulse TT. Okay, so uh, right now I've really only got uh, the the for the specs that I got, I really only got enough power to fully charge a Suron Light B. Okay, the Suron Light B need about two kilowatts of power to charge it, or three amp hour, thirty amp hours I think. But that's if it's fully discharged. Okay, probably not going to run it down all the way all the time. Okay, so I'm trying to help out my parents. I live I live with my parents in this house, and so the good thing is we own this house. So, you know, we can do whatever we want with it for the most part, okay? Now, if you do if you do, do a grid tie system, so a grid tie system is you have a system that puts energy into the electrical grid, you know, going into your house. Um, you have to have all these permits and all this stuff, and you have to do all this electrical code stuff and, you know, all, all, this, all this stuff. And I just want to build a simple system where I can charge my battery most of the way, okay? And so... I will, I'm going to go over a good diagram and like some of the ingredients that I've I plan to uh, to incorporate into my off-grid solar system. Okay, so um, I might I plan, I might do something with uh, wind wind power. Okay, a wind turbine. So the, the, there's a couple. The, there's like three main renewable energy sources. Okay, there's uh, photo, photovoltaics. Or, uh, solar power, okay, solar panels like this here, okay, and then there's um, uh, wind turbines, okay. So wind turbines, you got a generator mounted to a, like a tur um, a propeller, a prop, okay, and then when the wind blows, it spins it and it creates power. So that's the second form, and then and then the, the third form, there, there's all these other ones like geothermal and stuff, but these are the main ones, okay. And then uh, there's a hydroelectric, okay? That's water power. So you basically you're using the flow of water to turn turbines and create electricity, okay? And um, I don't got any of that kind of power around me unless you're going to try to put um, hydroelectric turbines in your in your drain. So when it rains, it, it spins it. But I don't think that would be a lot of power. You know? uh, maybe in the future, <laughs> they might have something. Readily, but the good thing about what Hayes Omega is doing now is, uh, I, you know, back in the days, solar panels were really expensive. You know, um, I've actually, I've actually helped somebody. I helped a friend move to Las Vegas, and and his dad had like all these solar panels, and they were so heavy. They were made out. They had glass. They were made out of glass. Okay, there's glass on the top, on the top of it, and those are like 
the real expensive, you know, commercial grade solar panels. So, but fast forward to now, we got cheap solar panels, okay? Like this one right here. This is a Jinko solar uh, panel from Malaysia, okay? It was, it's a company from Malaysia, and this outputs 320 watts, okay? And um, 320 watts. Uh, I, I'm not going to go over the specific. Uh, we'll, we'll look at the specs on the back, but it's about like 40 volts. I checked it before I bought it. All right, and it, I think it outputs almost nine amps when it's at full power. Okay, when, when you got the full power to something. Okay, so the good thing about where Haiti Omega lives, he lives in sunny California. All right, we don't have extreme weather here in the Bay Area. Uh, we don't have. It never snows here, okay, unless you go to the mountains, it don't snow. Um, and it doesn't get like blistering hot out here, okay, and so the, we got mild weather is what I'm going to say in the Bay Area, okay. Um, now we do get some windy weather sometimes, so that's why I'm thinking, you know, wind turbine would be another good way to, to get power. But uh, but so what I figured to, to build a, a solar, off-grid solar system that could charge my Soron light beam, uh, I, I kind of calculated I need somewhere in the, in the area of 600 watts, okay? So this is 320 watts. I got two of them. So that's like 640 watts when these pu are putting out their full power, okay? That's a, that's a lot of power. <laughs> um, now, nowadays, I'm seeing you can get a, um, you can get a, you can get a 100 watt panel for less than $100 now, okay? So, but that's, but I got this, guys, check this out, dude. I bought this from a dude in Brentwood. I had to drive like quite a, like almost almost like a hundred miles to go get them. But I got these two panels for two hundred dollars, a hundred dollars each, for more than six hundred watts of uh, solar power panels. Can you believe that? What a bargain that is. Okay, so the, for the price of like two hundred watts, I got six hundred watts. Now I don't really know how old these are, but they look like they're still in good shape. You know, so I'm planning to mount these on the roof right over there in my garage okay right next to my garage so I, I can run the wire straight into the garage okay and it's gonna go into a battery bank okay uh, it's gonna it's gonna charge a battery bank and we're gonna use that battery bank to charge uh, my batteries okay? uh, on the on the on my EVs okay so the good thing the good thing about what Hades Omega, the good thing about this is uh, or the EVs that Hades Omega drives all right the the electric motorcycles basically electric motorcycles don't really have that big of batteries okay um, the biggest battery you can get on a motorcycle right now is about 20, 20 kilowatt hours okay so that's like if you can cram 20 kilowatt hours of power into that battery it would take one hour to charge it okay that's how it is. well the, the biggest battery I have is a 10.5 kilowatt hour battery on the Victory Impulse okay the um, the the Suron Light Beam uh, has about two kilowatts. All right, just probably a little bit more than two kilowatts to charge it. So not too much. Um, you would need about a two thousand watt uh, battery bank to charge it. And and as I did all these calculations and stuff, and I found out like if you have about it, or where, where Hades Omega lives, okay, where it typically you get about four to five hours of sunlight, okay. So you figure I got 600 watts and I got four hours of good sunlight, all right? So you figure that's about 2,400 watts right there. That's enough to charge the Soron Light Beam, okay? Um, so, so yeah, so that, that's, the, that's my idea right there, okay? So this basically this system that Hayes Omega is constructing will be enough to fully charge like one battery for the Soron Light Beam, <laughs> okay? And uh, I'm also planning to just power the stuff in the garage with it too, okay? And and I found out there's a pretty cool device where you can you can somewhat tie it to the grid, but you're not putting power into the grid. It kind of it kind of turns your battery bank into like a UPS, uninterruptible power supply, okay? Backup power source, okay? So so yeah, so that's the plan, and this is the starting point right here. I got the solar panels right here, okay? I don't have. I don't have anything else, all right? Hayes Omega is no stranger to solar power, okay? I'll, I'll show you show you what I got going on. <laughs> I've been charging I've been charging the batteries in my cars, you know, off of solar power because I don't drive them very often. Oh yeah, I'm probably I'm probably 
There you go, there's one of them. <laughs> so my Galant VR4 has a 5 watt solar panel to charge the battery, okay? And I've got a charge controller in there. Okay? So so basically the charge controller is a charger. It takes it takes the uh, the power coming from the solar panel and it it regulates it so it can charge your batteries. And then when it's when the battery's fully charged, it shuts the charger off, okay? And then at night when there's no power coming from the panel, it shuts it off completely so you don't kind of backfeed the system. Let's say. Okay? Um, you could now potentially if you didn't really need a very big panel to charge a battery on a car, okay? Um, if you have a really small one, okay? But if you have a big one, you might overcharge the battery, you know, that kind of stuff. All right? So I got one in this van too. So this is my, this is the battle van right here. My 91 Toyota Previa. I got a solar panel in here, okay? This one, this one actually doesn't have a charge controller. This one's only five watts also. And basically you just plug it in and it'll charge the battery. Um, yep. And then what else? And then I got my Mitsubishi Eclipse here. This one actually has two solar panels. I got a Harbor Freight solar panel and I got a battery tender right here. Okay. And uh, this one puts out, I think this one puts out 10 watts and this one puts out 5 watts. Okay. And then it's battery tender makes crappy. And it's got a solar charge controller. Hey, the battery's fully charged. So, so it's got a battery tender, solar, um, solar charge controller. Okay. On it. And what that does is it helps keep the, it, like I said, it regulates the power coming from the solar panels. Um, so when it's fully charged, like it is right now, it's green. So, see it's green? So that means the battery is fully charged and it's, it's cutting power off going to the battery. So you don't overcharge the battery. Okay. So, uh, so yeah. So like I said, I'm, I'm no stranger to solar panels. Okay. So these guys are going to go... My plan is to mount them up there, okay? And I'm gonna use the cheapest cheapest racking possible. Hopefully it won't look too ghetto, so our house won't look thing. So if you guys if you guys wanna see what a professionally installed solar panel system is, looks like, there it is. <laughs> My neighbor has one, okay? So this this is a very expensive solar panel system right here, okay? This is a, this is the pro most likely a grid tie system, and it was professionally installed into the house, okay? It's got like a bunch of panels up here. This is probably, I don't know, man, it might probably two kilowatts or more system, okay? That outputs a lot of power, okay? And it, my neighbors don't live here, so, <laughs> so yeah, my, when my but this house basically it just generates electricity and then like you get credits from the power power thing but the system i'm planning to build is an off-grid system okay so it will have nothing to do with the with the power grid okay um i'm just you know i'm just generating my own electricity and i'm putting it into my electric motorcycles okay or or whatever stuff i got going on in my garage um, so exciting times uh, the price of solar panels has gone down greatly and the cost of batteries has got well lithium-ion batteries has gone down a lot recently hey, there's, a, there's a hummingbird oh there it goes he just took, took a little sippy sip and took off all right so uh so yeah i'm planning to put these solar panels up here okay so you can see it would fit there perfectly just to put those two panels one on top of each other on that roof it would fit there perfectly and then and then if i wanted to expand it later i could there was still a lot of room on this roof okay and there is a there's a place you know there's a place where you can get the most sun on your panels okay i think it's like you gotta face it to the south or something I think south is over that is that way. So I'm just gonna copy this house right here. They put the solar panels on this side of the house. So this is the best place right here. Alternatively, I could put it. I could put it up there. I can probably put it on the side of the house. You know, I could make a rack for it. But I, I think right here would be the best. And then I run the wires into the garage, and then that's where all my goodies are. Okay. So so that's the first step right there. I'm gonna go over the diagram in the next clip of uh what parts i'm plant i need and like you know what what the kind of i give you a rough idea of the specs i'm going to use to do this okay all right here's me go
Uh, but yeah, so these these are two. But yeah, we can look at the specs real quick. So this is a Jinko Solar. Okay, I've never heard of them before. I, I kind of looked them up on the internet, and they seem legit, so I guess. Um, they're made in Penang, Malaysia. Okay, this is a photovoltaic module, basically a solar panel. Okay, and it's 37.4 maximum volts. Wow, I, I, I got more than that. Hmm. Okay, and then uh, the current is 8.56 amps max. Okay, which, so that's when it's at its maximum, okay. Um, open circuit voltage is 46.4. Short circuit. Okay, so, so yeah, I don't know if there's a way to store these panels. Probably just keep them in the garage or something if they're not hooked up, you know. But, but yeah, these panels do make power. I tested them. Uh, we I tested them before I got them. They put out more than 30 volts. Okay, so, um, so where I'm planning to put all this stuff is right in this corner, right here, right here. Okay. And that's where gonna, my inverters and chargers and all that stuff is going to go. I'm probably going to... I'm I'm planning to use a milk crate, okay? Everything's going to be on a milk crate or a rack or something. I may mount stuff on the wall, too. I may... Um, what a lot of people do is they get a piece of wood, they mount it on the wall, and then they mount all the stuff onto the wood, okay? Or, like, use, like, a pegboard or something. Something like that. And I know how to make stuff like that, too. All right, so Hades Mega is not the best, uh, you know... I'm not really good at making house stuff all that much, but I do know I do have made a pegboard system before, you know, and I do know how to mount stuff on studs and all that stuff. Um, that's going to come in handy when we install it on the roof. Okay, so I've never done install. I never I don't do stuff on roofs. Okay, <laughs> it just doesn't do stuff on roofs. So, so yeah, for for now we're going to go with these two panels. All right. So I, I got these for uh, what is it freaking. $200 for 640 watts. This is three, 320 watts a panel. Okay, can you believe that? What a bargain. $200 for 600 watts of power. Now, these are panel, panels are probably pretty old. Maybe you can probably get something better now. I think I think the 100 the new 100 the the really new cheap 100 watt solar panels are probably about a quarter of this. Yeah. So so I think a newer solar panel probably you can get 400 watts for the size of this, but it's still a good. It's I can't I can't complain, man. I, I for 300 for more than 600 watts, I get for a pay, I paid 200 dollars for it, so I got a really good bargain. So as much as possible, Hades Omega is gonna do the low buck approach, okay? <laughs> you know, Hades Omega, he doesn't like to pay a lot of stuff to do his hobbies, okay? That's why I bought a Soron Light. It's not here; it's in the backyard. But that's why I bought a Soron Light B, you know, and that's why I bought a. An electric motorcycle that doesn't uh, doesn't the company doesn't exist anymore <laughs> because I got this stuff really cheap. Okay, so that's that's how Hades Omega does stuff on the cheap. Okay, but not it's not it's it's it's, it's it'll be ghetto fabulous, man. But it's not gonna be super duper ghetto. Okay, so um and you know if you don't know what you're doing, you could burn your house down. So so I gotta be careful. All right, so I definitely don't want to burn my house down. <laughs> okay. But yeah, to, to give you an idea how much power these panels put out, um, it's 640 watts for both of the panels. That's, uh, and then and then you got four hours of sunlight, that's 2,400 watts. That's enough to fully charge a Soron Light B. Okay, in four hours, four or five hours. And yeah, I would probably have to turn the power down charging it but but the good thing is like I can charge it in the daytime I can charge it anytime I want you know because I'll have a battery bank all right and um, and then I still have grid power if I need to chart top it off so that's a good thing also Hades Omega is planning to get a RAV4 Prime okay that's a plug-in hybrid um, RAV4 and I need some way to charge it uh, with you know using power that I've harnessed from the Sun and this that's so when when that happens I can charge, you know, other EV cars like in my driveway. So and since it'll be here, I can park my RAV4 here and charge it. All right, using my solar panel system. That's the plan. <laughs> That's the plan, anyways. All right. All right, here's my go. All right, but yeah. Um, so the it's it's been kind of a dream of mine to build my own solar panel system, so I can be energy dependent, so I don't have to rely on the grid so much. 
for power. Okay, and and so I can you know, so I can just say like, hey man, I I make no own power. I make I'm making the, my own power to power my vehicles. You know, I don't have to rely on the freaking uh, oil companies for gasoline. I don't have to re I don't have to re rely on PG and E Pacific Gas and Electric. That's who provides my electricity here um, to power my bikes. You know, I'm I'm using my own my own system. Okay, I'm making my own power to charge my bikes and that's like energy independence is what it is <laughs> all right so so yeah it's been a dream of mine to do that and i think 2021 is going to be the year that i do that okay and and if the if the system isn't enough you know it, it's a good starting point and then we can build upon it all right so okay so yeah it's going to be a project for hades Mega moto for this year we're going to power power my vehicles and power my garage with solar panels all right here's me out